Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saikan and we are going right back into the mission. It's the second half of the storyline mission. Um, it will probably take a little bit more time. That's why we put it uh, into a half. We have killed almost the entirety of uh, the four in, uh, in front of uh, the building. And we're now on our way to fight against the Chosen. So with that, let's slowly but surely, I think we, we should move up to the rooftop. We still, still got another car for remote start here. Oh, I remember we still had the shell back here. That's okay. Gotta take a little bit of fanfire. And let's get back behind the stone. <clears throat> we do have untouchables, so even if the tracer shot would be active, we should have no problem. I still haven't figured out. I should have looked online whether or not the tracing shot uh, goes through untouchable. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter right now. My life is in your hands. We're moving to the inside. Really? Let's reload an overwatch here. <clears throat> it's down to two, Edgar um, and Dragonover. Unfortunately, with losing our third operative, we're a little bit short. I'm reloading just to have the full magazine. Overwatch here. Current, as, as long as we haven't engaged a pack, uh, it seems that the Chosen is not using his tracing shots, he's just waiting. They have a distinctive sound. I relish these quiet okay, so Dragonover can begin to get on top of the roof. We still have a homing mine. I'm wondering if a homing mine and a banish with a full magazine is enough to one-shot the Chosen. I think it's worth a try. The explosion itself should deal extra damage against him, one of uh, the weaknesses of the Chosen, just to rem remind ourselves. Um, the Chosen takes increased damage from explosives. By the way, pretty dangerous pack back there. It seems as if there would be two Archons plus another... Codex. Got to be a bit careful. I don't want to uh, be spotted out by them. Uh, I think he will return fire. Will he? Interesting. No, uh, he has the return fire ability. Normally he would return fire, but apparently with... <clears throat> Apparently, with overwatch shots, uh, that's not the case. Might as well take a kill zone, but the kill zone doesn't even reach far enough. In which case, we're just overwatching. All right. Ah, this position is too dangerous. 
I don't want them to come upstairs and immediately spot us out, so let's position ourselves here. Perfect. Get it together. Not sure what our chances of hitting him are. Let's see. Yeah, we're looking at a solid 0% just due to squad side uh, um, range of 150. Okay, let's think that through. If we were to uh, hit the Chosen, we're looking at uh, six to seven points of damage. We would probably need to catch him off guard in order to um, have an increased crit chance. Currently we're at zero percent. So we're looking at, let's say, minimum damage. That's one, two, three, four, five, 30 damage from the actual shots. The explosion takes 12 points of damage. So improved, that's 18. Um, we're looking at, yeah, and he has armor. So we're looking at 48 points of damage and he's sitting at a solid 60, which is too much. So unless we're getting somewhat closer, I don't see how we can zero him out. With two homing mines, it might uh, it might have been possible. Oh wait, and we got an advanced teamwork. Could we work with that? Yeah, I think we could. We could actually try to get out of line of sight. Hmm. Interesting proposition. Because if we were to move back to here, he wouldn't even be capable of finding us. Let's try that. One of the Reaper's many more. So here's the homing mine. And if we were to engage with Banish, hmm, I don't think that it's enough damage, but I think we do have a good chance to reduce him pretty low. There we go. That's his entire armor. We need to have some crits now. Seven, another six. We're not seeing the shots. Keep on going. It's another six. Still going. Another seven. It's going to take more than a few wounds to slow me down, Commander. I would have thought you got the message about these advent. The second homing mine would have done the trick. Let's be honest, he's most likely, most likely, going to summon a few Maybe I should take over priests. Show you how a real hunter operates. What do you say, Reaper? You were born for this. Now get out there and fight. Unfortunately, Edgar Alien is too far away, so Dragonova needs to solo kill him okay not sure what he's doing exactly it seems as if he's running off the map really 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 far away OK, 
Okay, that was strange. Back to the shadows. Reloading. And we're going to Overwatch. I don't think that we're going to hit anything. Two more solid shots and he's done. I don't think... I, I don't know about his regeneration though. His re regeneration might be too much. There is nowhere to hide. Adjusting aim. We might need to deal with uh, both of the priests first. Not sure yet. They definitely run into the direction of Edgar and Poe because he's the only known target, which in itself is good. It really fits into our game plan. Edgar takes a long watch. I'm pretty sure we're at least getting one shot on the priest. Doesn't matter all too much that the Chosen is regenerating, because as soon as we hit once with Edgar Elian, all of his regeneration will be gone. Right, the chosen continues to move, and that's good. You should have pulled your people out when you had the chance. I go where you tell me. We unfortunately have no more um, explosives left over, but we do have a couple of remote starts, and the chosen will need to go through those areas. Another long watch. He's now getting into the area where we finally can hit with Edgar Allan Poe. Squad side um, negative is no longer large enough. Which kind of begs the question if we were to train a sniper so incredibly high with uh, his aim that he has like 200 plus aim. That would mean even those shots here across the entire map would be doable for him. Uh, I think that's almost in range of the remote start. Oh my gosh, he's so close, but yet not in the remote start range. Thirty-eight percent. I think we're overwatching once more, because the overwatch shots do not trigger a reaction shot from his side. And we're just moving over here. I would love to see a remote start, because that would completely kill him. But he was barely out of range. For that. Lucky him. If he would have been in range for the uh, remote start, that would have been 18 points of damage and arguably would have killed him. Couple more packs uh, inside, but nothing to really worry about. This pack here is a bit fright uh, frightening to Archons and the Codex. Need to find the right engage against them. But we should be fine. 
All right, the chosen trigger is another uh, overwatch shot. That's the fourth in a row that is missing, and we're at almost 50% of overwatch shots, so it's not that unrealistic for him to actually hit one. Unbelievable, he's still out of range. Okay, we're reloading. Just normal overwatch. As soon as he's in range for the remote start, I can promise you he's going to get killed. And to be honest, he should make his way towards Edgar Alien sooner or later. Not sure why the AI is teasing at this point. Um, he knows uh, that the sniper is on the other side of the map. Might as well mo uh, move there. Good. Let's overwatch. Come get some. Dragonova moves closer. Watch my back. Chosen back to thirty hit points. Yeah, the regeneration stacks up more than I would have guessed. But still not a problem, like one hit from both uh, would bring him uh, down to his original hit points. And any sort of explosion would even bring him into a leather range. There we go, finally the first hit. And I think he moved behind a car. No, he did not. Yes, he did. I'm you. Hashtag yes, he did. Okay, dragon over. Moves all the way up here. I hope this car can still be remote started. The answer is no, it can't. Let's continue harassing him. 1% shot, pretty solid hit. You just made my list. He will take one shot. I can't kill him this turn. Might as well leave Dragonover in uh, stealth, because that will be more useful for us in the future. And let's hope that he's not hitting. It's still far, far away. Like it would be difficult for him to hit into full cover on this uh, distance. And technically he shouldn't even completely know where Edgar Allan Poe is. So let's see. Yeah, that looks like a double move. Okay, I think we got him. I skirted him. Now I'm getting a little angry. Oh. 
Of course, minimum damage. But that is okay. Dragonova this time can finish the job. 100% chance to hit him, and there you go. Okay. I think conclusion here is Banish and an Explosive can almost one-shot him, which is great. But it will not help us... Um, when we're invading his stronghold, because we only have one banish permission, and although it's great for the first time, it soon will not work anymore. Good, we gotta move a bit closer now. Uh, despite how great the high ground position is, it's still too far away. So Edgar Elia needs to go until uh, uh, needs to move up until the cliff side, and Dragonova will continue scouting. That's a long run. We got two priests left, uh, and we got two more packs left. One was um, a pack with a mech, the other one was the Codex plus Dual Archon pack. So that's two, uh, eight enemies overall. We haven't taken any damage so far, and cooldown-wise we're still okay. We predominantly need to um, look for uh, good engages. Dragonova definitely needs to keep her stealth. We don't have any other means of re-stealthing at the moment. Good time to reload. Again, we're getting our cooldowns back. The time for hiding is over. Perfect timing for the three of them to appear. I think Edgar Alien with uh, with a nice little uh, kill zone can hit hit all three of them. So that pack. Could be engaged. We're looking at pretty solid shots. So let's kill zone the entire uh, the entire area. There we go, kill zone triggers. That's the first hit. That's a pretty solid second hit. And there's the third hit. Nice, good job. Kill zone certainly worth its money. We are going to start with the stun lancer, the elite lancer here. Nice shot. My life is in your hands. Dragonova can finish uh, the Mac without getting discovered. Which leaves only the purifier. And we can easily get him. 
He has the lowest range. I wouldn't be surprised if he just runs back. He decides not to. But that's okay, now he's standing in the open, which is a really bad position to begin with. So, might as well kill him with a pistol and reload. Good, reloaded. Let's take the loot. And we're down to five enemies. Superior scope and superior agility. That was really good. Good. Slow, methodic, uh, method, uh, methodical. That's pretty much why they removed the, uh, or why they introduced timers on these missions. Because elsewise it's just way too strong. So this here is a nice little entrance to take shots. Might as well position us over here. And let's see if the other pack somewhat patrols into our direction. I know they are patrolling the area like around the back of this um, complex. I'm hoping that we can get an overwatch shot kind of directly hitting them. Before we are doing so though, let's check upstairs. I'm not sure where the second priest has gone to. I'm on it. And maybe we have to move Edgar Alien a bit closer to the enemies. Dragonova doesn't have the firepower to deal with an entire squad. And we somewhat need to, uh, to find a way of dealing with the three of them. So kill zone definitely would be the best answer. I will go. Heading out. Changing the sides a little bit in the hopes of getting some sort of line of sight, maybe through the window. If we could spot them out and take a single shot, that actually would be very helpful. The Codex would immediately teleport over to Edgar and we could kill it. The two Archons are not a problem. It, as long as they are in range, they have incredibly low aim. They just have tons and tons of hit points. Unfortunately, no remote start option here. And it seems as if the pack is somewhat patrolling really the back of uh, the entire perimeter, almost in circles, if that's the case. Yeah, look at that. They definitely patrol the, the back side here. So right here should be a good line of sight. Let's see, it takes a little bit longer than I would have expected. 
sorry for that if uh, we're not getting any shots relatively soon I'll just continue to engage Interestingly enough, we do have a remote start here, right? Like this here looks like a remote start. Perfect. Okay. Which means that's where we're going to engage them as soon as they stand there. Overwatch, Overwatch. Let's just wait for them to get in position. Of course, now they are just hovering. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, that looks much better. It seems they are clustering up on uh, this side here. A little bit more to the left, please, so we can get a decent remote start. Apparently that's too much to ask for. Let's see if we can start anything inside of the room. Package is in rage. Okay, can't. All of uh, these are non explosives. Moving as ordered. Affirmative, covering now. Seems as uh, if those guys are now like clustered within the room. The AI seems to be pretty suspicious about not moving out of the room. It's not too far. I would be okay if you're taking the other side. That's fine. Gosh, it seems as if the AI would really know what we're up to. Yep, back to the room. Okay, we gotta engage them differently. This here is not working out. Let's move up Edgar Alien. Aha! Uh -huh. All of a sudden, they begin to move in. Interestingly. Nice. Okay, that is a perfect remote. Start. It's a pretty good remote start. Perfect would be probably too much of it, but it's a pretty good remote start. Enjoy the show. If we were to go to here, and still out of line of sight. So maybe one of the, the options that we could do. Problem is, the Codex will teleport out and will just um, psionic bomb us. So 
So having the, bo uh, the option to grapple out of the psionic bomb next turn would be really helpful. They all have tactical analysis, so they can't just move and shoot. They can only move. So might as well overwatch with a pistol shot here. There's the teleport plus psionic bomb. Highly predictable. Sidearm luckily is not disabled. So, taking a shot, nice little hit, good job. Um, we will definitely keep it for, uh, keep the fanfire for the codex. And we would go up here, okay, that's good. Which leaves us with one other shot. which softens up this arc on here. Or not. Good. Moving up. Fanfire. Let's kill the Codex. That's proc uh, proccing untouchable for us, which is great. So the Archon will not go back. I'm pretty sure about... I'm pretty certain that he's not going to go back. So might as well move all the way up here. And making sure that the second Archon dies as well. Untouchable. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was untouchable, but apparently also just no attack whatsoever. I go where I'm needed. Okay, now it comes, uh, it really comes down to a solid standoff. We can't escape uh, the Archon. It's too fast. We're going to take a hit most likely. That's 16 points of damage and... We cannot kill it, so I'm asking myself whether or not it's really worth it to to go for a shot here probably it isn't there's zero chance to crit however it's seven to eight plus breakthrough plus blood trail oh i think that already includes the, it yeah both blood trail and um breakthrough are already included in the seven to eight yeah which means we're going to reload. Maybe blazing pinions, but most likely a hit. Yeah. Unfortunate, we had a pretty good run. Flawless so far.
A single crit would have uh, definitely solved the whole topic for us. Good. Edgar Allan Poe took a little beating. It happens. Moving into full cover, and let's move down here. We know there is a single priest. Not sure if there is actually one or two priests. I know two have been summoned, and I can't remember that we killed one of them. So technically, it should be a pair of two priests. I will reposition. There's the second priest. So I guess the question is, are they even going to care? Do we really need to fight them, yes or no? Well, the question has just been answered, because out of pure sheer luck or or intuition, they decided to move here and mind control Dragon over. Great. Perfect. We're going to hide for two rounds. And then we're going to kill them. By the way, just another indication of how the AI tends to cheat from time to time. up here. A little bit of a free shot and going back into cover. Alright, my control is gone. Moving to position. Watch close. Target neutralized. Good. Probably can go for another stasis play. Moving out. It's very unlikely that he's going to take just a normal shot. So this here is to soften him up. Now the mind control could also be the case. Stasis most likely. Mind control. Stop! Stop it! I won't! I can't! Mm. 
Well, we can end the mind control quite easily. I'm on it. Which forces this guy to use stasis next turn. Or, alternatively, I mean, we could go over. The problem is that he will probably sustenance, and it's his turn, and he could take a shot, and I think their rifles still deal enough damage. On a crit, it could be 8 points of damage, so we're not going to go in for the uh, for the kill. I'm rather waiting for stasis, yeah. Which is way more predictable. So we're in at least cover, which makes it easier for us. There's the sustenance. Unfortunately, sustenance doesn't trigger untouchable. So he has no cooldowns left over, which means he's probably going to take a shot. I was wrong, he had cooldowns left over. I'd like to get let Edgar Alien take the uh, kill. Very nice. Okay, we're going to go down and get the package out of here. Spirit expanded magazine is really good. We we can definitely use it. Can't place an evac zone anywhere up here. Really need to get all the way back to the entrance. Location confirmed. Give me time to reload. Okay. So Once we got the suit, I think we needed to run all the way to the entrance and uh, reinforcements will be popped. I figured as much. So with the suit, we're certainly not a good match for the enemies. The there is our evac zone. Doesn't look that heavy. Gotta carry the commander. I can cover it. And we'll probably take the approach to just flee. On the move. Moving over here. Should be able to grab the hook somewhere over here. Throw the hook. And let's move as far as we can. I think double moves should get us out of here. And unless there is a mech with an overwatch, we should be not in trouble at all. Even if there is a mech with overwatch, we can use um, Dragon Over to basically pull the overwatch. The target elders and forces are near. They're shifting around the side. 
There's the Overwatch. Luckily, we have enough hit points left over to deal with it. Uh, not only that, we do have a free shot, Lightning Hands. Takes care of the Overwatch, not a problem. And we are fleeing the scene. Pretty anticlimactical. But there is no advantage in fighting the three, other than getting injured even more. So let's evac out and call it quits. Good job, 19 kills. We unfortunately lost uh, one of uh, one of the uh, new recruits, but well, that's okay. Edgar Alien and Dragonov are both survived, which is what counts at the end. So, as for the next mission, I think, just by looking at the options on the table, we might want to go uh, for for the storyline mission. Skulljacking one of uh, the Codexes. Our victory over them today. By the way, superior loot, uh, really good. Superior scope, superior expanded magazine, and superior agility, which is phenomenal. We have found what could very well New objectives added. We're making progress, Commander. Um, let's take a look at our soldiers real quick. So Roby would be available, but Hogbite is not there. Might be Zirkim and Renman for the next mission. And I'm also thinking... Yeah, probably we're keeping superior perception. But if you look at the PCS... I mean, plus 24 dodge isn't really bad. Not at all. It would give him almost 50% dodge as well. I will consider it and think about it. For now... I think we're preparing the next mission, guys, which means we are done for this now. Was of to the aliens, the setback, and the next mission, I would like to do it on before the month no, is uh, over. The next mission could be the Brain Codex coordinates. Not a bad idea to go there, but probably we should do it with um, with Renman and Roby, uh, with Renman and uh, Zirkim. Maybe even with uh, Renman and Roby, to be honest, because then we can heal the chrysalids' uh, poison. Yeah, let's get ready and do that. And we'll end uh, today's uh, episode here. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you. Have a great day. And take care. Bye-bye.